Chair, and welcome, Dr. Holdren. I'm very grateful uh, having I'm a representative for Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and also Sandia National Laboratory. And I'm, I'm grateful that my colleague on this committee, uh, Ms. Lofgren, has been a uh, tireless uh, and fierce advocate for our laboratories. And uh, many times members of Congress uh, are advocates for what's in their district, and it's, it's hard to look outside the district. But I am grateful that Ms. Lofgren uh, has been such a champion for the laboratories. And I wanted to follow up on some of her questions. Uh, about NIF uh, because uh, it is very important. And the administration is proposing cuts uh, to NIF and the inertial uh, confinement fusion and high yield campaign over fiscal year uh, 2012. And these cuts could lead uh, to the ending of research at this recently completed world class facility. NIF has long received, uh, as Ms. Lofgren pointed out, bipartisan support uh, in the Congress. And uh, it is uh, at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, which is the largest employer in my congressional district, and it houses the world's most powerful laser and the preeminent tool in the world for this type of fusion research. Uh, it is also a critical part of our stockpile stewardship program. And today, as we look around the world and we look at the threat uh, of a a uh, nuclear weapon being used against the United States, particularly with Iran or North Korea, I think making sure that uh, stewardship is taking place uh, with our stockpile has never been uh, more important. And as we look forward into the future, uh, this research from NIF can lead to clean, safe, plentiful fusion energy. And so uh, I believe that uh, the funding reduction for NIF uh, greatly uh, puts us at risk for our stockpile stewardship. I am also afraid that it is ceding America's leadership when it comes uh, to fusion uh, to Russia or China. And France as well, they have also accelerated their investments in this area to compete uh, in confinement fusion. Uh, and I believe this could put U.S. behind. Uh, Dr. Holdren, given our sizable investment in NIF, and up to this point uh, it has been uh, the $5 billion initial investment and then the continuing operational investment. Do you think we should pull support just as this facility is demonstrating its potential? Congressman, with respect, we are, we are not pulling support. I think that the cuts in the NIF budget, as, as I currently understand them, uh, are, are modest. They are not insignificant, but they do not, in my judgment, imperil our stockpile stewardship program. They do not uh, imperil the continued operation uh, of the facility. If I discovered that the contrary were true, uh, I would join you in alarm. Uh, our stockpile stewardship program is important. This is a cutting edge facility, which is important uh, to that program and to the potential future use of inertial confinement fusion as an energy source, and it is not our intention uh, to shut it down. But, uh, Dr. Holden, wouldn't you agree? I mean, going from fiscal year 2012, uh, a funding level of $486.8 million to fiscal year 2013, a request at 271.7, that is a sizable reduction that will greatly affect the operations at NIF, uh, will reduce the staffing at NIF, and will set them behind in uh, their fusion goals. I think there were a number of changes that contributed to that reduction in budget, partly the, in, the expanded use of the facility as a user facility uh, and some changes in bookkeeping which affected it as well. Um, I, 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 I do want to mention um, that um, I was a full-time employee of the Livermore Lab from 1970 to 1972 and a consultant yeah. uh, from 74 to 94, including a consultant to the division that built NIF. And uh, I have a strong attachment uh, to the importance of that facility. And as I say, if, if, if I thought that what was going on in the budget was imperiling the future use of that facility, um, I would do everything I could to prevent that outcome. And I was also I was an intern for Ellen Tauscher in 2001 uh, in this town. I saw uh, NIF uh, at its inception, and uh, I see it as my role. And again, I am very grateful that I have a colleague 
up here who also understands the importance, not just for our nuclear security, but also the future of our energy security. And I hope we can work together uh, to make sure that it does have an adequate funding level uh, so it can continue uh, to make progress and, more importantly, uh, reach the goals, which I, I hope uh, we are close to reaching there. I will certainly continue to work with you and with Congresswoman Lofgren uh, to that effect. Great. Thank you, Dr. Thank you.